And some, pre some pretext to this, I was actually really inspired after coming to um, the launch of your book, Philip, last um, few weeks ago. And um, so this can come across as a bit confronting, but uh, it really inspired me to write, so I'm very grateful. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. This, this piece is called Coloured Love. I wonder how the story would read from Ouija's point of view. Another name added to a long list of disappointments. Who can love a coloured girl with such a colourful history? What agony she would inflict on herself, interrogating every curve of her body, asking, what did I do? Only to accept that this white boy ain't different to any other. Her friend was right. The suspicions passed on by generations before her. You see, I see my face reflected in her dark shadow. In the 1960s, it's no different to bring a, to bring home a colored girl, whether she be yellow or black. Miss Saigon was to every Jezebel. Except times have changed and I pass now. I pass in spaces with my Australian accent and fine company. The privileges afforded to me by my parents who left their home by choice and my own hustle. And my armor made of stereotypes, obedient, a good cook, great at maths. Did you know that Asian women do best on Tinder? These false creations lift me to surreal heights but tear down my colored sisters. It'd be fashionable to have yellow fever in 2016. Ha, 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 ha.